Good morning. Welcome back. I'm Lauren Osborne, and today's Saturday, July 23rd. Let's check in with meteorologist Arden Gregory for a look at your forecast this morning. It sounds like although it's going to be a nice weekend, it's probably better to stay in the air conditioning because it's going to be hot. <laughs> yes, absolutely. It's going to be very hot. So if you do have to go outside, make sure you drink plenty of water. Other than that, it doesn't look too bad. There is a slight chance for an isolated shower later on today, but this morning we are nice and dry. Pinpoint Doppler showing nice clean sweeps as we scan the skies for you this morning. No rain just yet, but with all that heat and humidity, we might kick up an isolated shower or storm later on this afternoon. Although there's no rain to deal with this morning, a few locations are dealing with some fog. Visibility down to less than a quarter of a mile up to the north in Moorhead and Huntington and down to two miles off to the west in Somerset as well as Monticello. So just keep in mind you might run into some of that if you're headed out the door this morning. Temperatures already very mild across the mountains this morning with temperatures in the lower 70s for the most part and it's already fairly muggy out there as well. As we go through the rest of your day, that mild and muggy is going to turn to hot and humid as temperatures warm into the lower 90s with heat index values approaching 100. Because of that, many locations in our region are in a heat advisory. Although that does not include most of eastern Kentucky, we are still at risk for some dangerous heat today, and I'll have the details on that a little later. All right, Arden, thank you so much. A developing story out of Bell County. Sheriff's deputies are investigating a physical assault case. They say the incident was captured on tape by the app Snapchat. Sheriff's deputies say the video shows a woman being held back and attacked by several young men and juveniles at a party. Everyone involved is under the age of 21. No names have been released. A Pike County woman is facing a manslaughter charge after police say she shot and killed her estranged husband. In April, police say Pamela Smith shot Terry Briggs after he threatened her at a home in Phelps. At this time, investigators said there was a domestic violence order against Briggs. No charges were filed. This week, a Pike County grand jury changed that and indicted Smith for manslaughter. Smith is scheduled to appear in court August 3rd. Kentucky State Police are investigating possible fraud within the Jackson County government. Judge Executive Shane Gabbard says the issue was reported to the fiscal court. Those findings were turned over to the county attorney who turned them over to KSP. In a special con fiscal court meeting yesterday, officials went into executive session and decided to suspend Treasurer Beth Sully with pay pending the outcome of the state police investigation. Gabbard says one person appears to be responsible for the fraud. As more and more people turn to the Internet for just about everything, financial advisors warn of scammers enticing you with quick money advances. Miranda Combs has what you need to know about online payday loans. It's a perfect place to be. It's the season to travel. And to do that, you need money, sometimes in advance. They get it online because they can get the money in a 30 minute period. This room inside the Commonwealth Credit Union in Frankfurt is a training room. There are so many scams out there these days. People like Jamie Akers are charged with staying a step ahead. We've had many, you know, instances of this happening and we're talking not little dollar amounts, tens and ten thousand, twenty thousand dollars. Online payday loans. You can get international ones, ones that are just within the United States. They are fast, but many times a fake. And it may say a reputable name of a financial institution, but it's really a scam. She says it works like this. The online payday loan site will ask you to fill out some paperwork and give your social security number. They get back to you in 20 or 30 minutes and say you've been approved. Then they ask for your online banking information and Aker says people give it. So when they give it, your whole account is wide open. Then, she says, they add another enticing twist to the scam. They'll send back an email and say, oh, would you like to make your credit score better? And of course, what are you going to say? Sure, if I've got a bad credit score, I want that raise. Aker says scammers love mobile banking, where you capture a check with your phone and they immediately have access to your account. It's all money laundering is what it is. And Aker says with so much access out there anyway, the scammers already know who you are. Payday lenders that are, that are um, scammers usually go on the deep web and already have your credit report. Bottom line, fast access to cash for that enticing summer trip may leave you high and dry and may be the access a scammer is looking for. In Frankfurt, Miranda Combs, WKYT. 
Aker says they also see a lot of college students fall victim to online payday loan scams in the summer. Kentucky State Police say one woman is dead after crashing a motorcycle head on with a truck. They say 55 year old Patricia Burke of London took a turn on Kentucky 11, crossed over the center line and hit an F-250. As you can see here, the truck driver almost drove off the road trying to avoid her. The truck driver was not hurt. The Knox County coroner pronounced Burke dead at the scene. A Letcher County man is badly injured in an ATV crash is fighting for his life. The mother of 33 year old Andy Cook tells us he's on life support at Pikeville Medical Center. Cook was flown to the hospital after wrecking a four wheeler Thursday on Beaufort Road in the Cowan community of Letcher County. Cook's mother told us the family wants to thank everyone sending prayers and encouragement. Earlier this year, we told you about a miner who died at Lone Mountain Processing Huff Creek's number one mine in Harlan County. Now federal regulators have to come to the conclusion his death was the result of the operator's failure to inspect the mine and fix obvious problems. A recent report from the Mine Safety and Health Administration shows the operator engaged in, quote, aggravated conduct constituting more than ordinary negligence. The report also shows mine managers also failed to conduct a pre shift examination of the mine. Officials say a foreman saw a crack in the wall of the mine just minutes before, but did not immediately fix the problem. He worked all school year for it, only for it to be stolen. A 10 year old from Pulaski County was rewarded with a tablet for his perfect attendance at school. But one day someone came into their house and took it. It hasn't been found yet. Police didn't want his hope to be robbed from him too. Mike Linden has the story. Fourth grade was a big year for 10 year old Benjamin Cochran. He says his school held a contest that he planned on winning. There were kids that had to get perfect attendance all year. After being absent from school throughout third grade, Benjamin's goal was to have perfect attendance throughout the year for fourth grade. And he did just that. To reward his perfect attendance, Ben's school gave him a tablet but he never got a chance to even open the box. My friend, his truck broke down here. So he brought another guy with him to fix his truck. And that's the fellow that took Benjamin's tablet. You could see the disappointment in his face. Detective Tom Reed met Ben and his mother to file a police report. It's a bad situation. You know, the little guy worked hard to achieve a goal, and his reward for that goal was taken away from him before he ever got an opportunity to use it. That's when Reed took matters into his own hands. I mean, I never had perfect attendance, and I would think that's a pretty, that's a pretty tough thing to achieve. About a week later, Reed called Ben and his mother back to the county attorney's office to speak with the little boy. But I said, I think that was a really, you know, good achievement that you, you got, and I don't want you to lose faith in society because there's a lot of nice people out there and I want you to have this tablet. He's awesome. I've never met anybody like him. He's just, he was amazing. Reed says buying Ben a new tablet was all part of the job. We get into that profession for the reason of helping people. And I think that's the underlying fact of why people do that. In Pulaski County, Mike Linden, WKYT. Detective Reed says the man who allegedly stole the tablet will be charged with misdemeanor theft. More than 30 students from our region spent this week at the University of Louisville preparing for life after high school. The students were chosen from Promise Zone counties in eastern Kentucky and took part in several hands-on projects and presentations dealing with science, technology, engineering, and math. Professors at U of L say the program is designed to prepare students for post-secondary education, but also to broaden their horizons and encourage them to be leaders in moving Eastern Kentucky forward. That's one of my strong feelings in general, is that when these kids get, you know, even one of them becomes successful, I think they can transform the entire region. Partners for Education at Berea College helped put the camp together, which was the first of its kind, and it was free to students. Lending a hand, volunteers from Hand in Hand Ministries out of Louisville are helping a family in Floyd County. WYMT's Chandler Markey spoke to volunteers who spent the day rebuilding parts of their home. These volunteers from Hand in Hand Ministries have spent the past couple of days working on projects for a family in the Toller community. First day I worked on the ramp over here and we started it and finished it in the same day and the second day, which is today, 
We're building a water collector over here. Uh, I went up and I tore out the whole kitchen and put drywall back up and now there's cabinets in there. Uh, right now I'm working in uh, David's bedroom trying to replace the flooring because it was given out. A family of four lives in this house. Volunteers will spend three days completing several projects to give back and help the family live a more comfortable lifestyle. It's really nice building something and finishing it and be able, being able to see something you started and finished on the same day. They say the end results make the long, hot days worth it. These kids up here, they hardly have anything. And whenever I see this, then it just makes me want to work twice as hard. Lending a helping hand to those who need it most. In Floyd County, Chandler Markey, WYMT Mountain News. Volunteers hope to finish their projects at the home later today. Uniting for prayer in the wake of violence across the nation. Members from more than 20 churches in eight counties gathered in Floyd County last night for a prayer meeting. Pastors say they wanted to gather and pray for several things, including our nation's leaders, first responders, soldiers and families. There's problems in our communities, in our churches, in our families, in our nation that are bigger than we are. And we've got to have some unity inside the body of Christ, inside of our churches to be able to make a difference. Pastors say they hope to see a positive change in their communities. Up next on Backroads, we're going to explore some of the trails of Eastern Kentucky, but unlike any other way, we've done it before. And later we'll check in with Jason Lindsay to see what he's working on for us in this morning's Hooked on Science segment. And some isolated storms are possible this weekend, but heat is what's dangerous. Stay with us. I'll break down what you need to know in your full forecast when we come back.